Sup guys, my name is Courtney Budzen and this is What's For Din. Today I'm gonna to be showing you how to make a homemade pie crust from scratch. This can be intimidating for some people who's never made it before, but let me tell you that it is super easy. This is a perfect pie crust because it's buttery and flaky and delicious and you can put it either with sweet desserts or savory desserts. So whichever one you want, the choice is yours. So you're gonna need some all-purpose flour, some really, really cold butter. I actually chopped this up into tiny pieces and then I threw it in the freezer because you want this really cold. And also I'm using salted butter. So if you're not gonna, if you're gonna use unsalted butter, make sure you use a pinch of salt in this recipe. Then some ice water and some sugar. That's all there is to the ingredients, really simple. So the first thing we're gonna do is mix our flour with our sugar and I'm just using a whisk. You're just gonna wanna whisk that in and get it nice and combined. And if you're using your pie crust for a more of a savory dish, you can just leave out the sugar and add a little bit extra salt. You can really put any kind of herbs in this if you wanted to. So now that that's combined, now we're gonna add our cold butter. Now, like I said, it's really important that your butter is really, really cold. And then what I do is I start off with two knives and I cut this in. You can use a pastry cutter, you can use a food processor, whatever you wanna do. But I wanted to show you how easy it is to do it all by hand without the help of any machines. So I cut the butter in, and then once it gets small enough, I just use my hands, and you can sit there and bark at me and tell me it's wrong, but this is the way I've always done it, and I love the way it turns out every time. So now that I have it somewhat cut in, I'm just gonna go in with my hands and kind of break up the butter. And my hands, I just rinse them under cold water so that they're not too warm. It's not going to melt the butter because the heat of your hands can melt the butter. So keep doing this until you get a coarse crumble resembling small peas. Okay, so you can see I have a pretty good crumble here. You can see they're all different shapes and sizes, but they're not absolutely ginormous. You want chunks of butter because that's what's gonna make it flaky, but you don't want ginormous chunks, otherwise your pie crust is gonna be all un uneven and all that. So now we're gonna add our ice water. Now make sure that your ice water doesn't have actual ice in it or it can cause your crust to become soggy. So what I'm gonna do is make a little bit of a well Pour a little bit at a time. You could use up to a cup, you could use half a cup, you could use a fourth of a cup. It all depends on the humidity in the air and it's very rarely the same exact amount every single time you make a pie crust. So all I do is use my fork to kind of mix it in a little bit at a time. And you don't wanna use way too much water because the more water you use, the more your pie crust is going to shrink down when you bake it and you don't want that. And what we're looking for when you're adding the water is you want the flour to be able to hold a ball. So right now that crumbles in my hand, so you need more water. So add a little bit more. So I think this is about perfect. As you can see, when I press it, it somewhat stays in shape. You don't have to worry about it chunking off a little bit, that's fine. You just want it to somewhat hold its shape. So what I'm gonna do is take half of my mixture because this makes enough for two nine inch pie crusts. We're just going to put it on some plastic wrap. Then all you need to do is lift all four corners of your plastic wrap and kind of squeeze it together, forming a ball at first, but then I like to shape it into a disc. So you can just tie it the top. Squeezing it together helps form it. And there you have it. So there's your pie crust. Now the important step is putting this in the refrigerator and you wanna let it sit in there for at least 30 minutes. The longer you let it sit in there, the better because it's going to chill the butter and the butter won't expand as much when you have it in the oven. So I'm gonna go ahead and pop mine in the fridge for about an hour and then we'll bring it back out and I'll show you how I shape them. To the fridge. Don't follow me. <laughs> so my dough was in the refrigerator for an hour and I just took it out about five minutes ago because you don't wanna roll it as soon as you take it out of the fridge, otherwise there's a chance that you could have a ton of cracks. So I just put it down on a lightly floured surface and I'm just gonna flour the top before we roll it. I'm also gonna flour my, pin, my rolling pin. So once you have your surface floured, you wanna roll back and forth, turning, every so often. So I roll back and forth and turn. Roll back and forth and turn. That way you don't risk having some weird looking shape. You're just getting a normal circle shape. So just keep doing that until you get to about 13 inches. So this is what it should look like. It doesn't have to be a perfect circle like I said because you tuck the edges under anyway. And so what I went ahead and did already was brush any excess top, uh, flour off the top because you don't want too much flour Otherwise, it can seep into your crust and create a tough crust. 
So an easy way to do this is when we go to put it into the um, pan that we have next to us, is to roll it onto your pin and then slide right over, whoop, slide right over to your pie plate and there you have it. So what I do is gently press it in so that it's touching the bottom. So go ahead, once you've got it in and firmly pressed down, go ahead and just press or tuck the edges underneath. And don't worry if you have a lot of excess because this is going to shrink a little bit. I'm not going to guarantee it's not gonna shrink at all because it is an all butter pie crust. Pie crusts that have shortening in it don't shrink as much, but I personally don't like using shortening if I don't have to. So real quick, I'm gonna show you a crimping method. All I do is take two of my knuckles and one finger and just push it just like that. So you can see mine's not perfect, but it doesn't have to be perfect. And if you're trying to aim for perfect, you're gonna be disappointed because it's not possible. So before I bake anything in my pie crust, just out of habit, I always like to prick holes in the bottom just to make sure there's no air pockets or air bubbles that form underneath the crust before you're baking something. So if you wanna remake this pie crust, just look below in the description box. I'll list all the measurements and the written instructions. And if you did like this video, don't forget to smack that like button. And as always, thank you so much for watching and we'll see you next time. Peace out.